So in this video, I'm going to show how to install MAMP and then WordPress on top of it. So uh, for MAMP, it's at MAMP.info downloads and I have a MacBook. I click to download the Mac version. So once I have the package, I will just click to open, follow the step. and install <clears throat> you will need to have amic rights in order to install the software it's like this so map is um usually for mac and now that they have windows version as well and then for linux there's the lamp since for linux apache as a web server MySQL as the database and PHP as the web scripting language. So this installation is successful. We don't need the installation file anymore. So next in the application, you see a map icon. Uh, it will install Pro at the same time, but the Pro will need uh, a fee. So for simple, small projects MAMP will be sufficient so you could drag and drop into your tray so it's easy to access and if you click to open and you can start the server to verify that your server is running you can go to on a browser it actually automatically open up so by default it's taking the port 8888 and then local host your current your local computer so there you have a web server on your local computer the internet cannot see it however you have a kind of server environment running this can be your development environment and later when you're ready you can move your uh, development files to a isp hosted web server space and uh, the internet would be able to see it the world would be able to see it so when you click on my website index of, and that's the 8888 um, states in your local. So we're going to show after we install the WordPress, um, how do we move the WordPress into the local index and where that will be at. On the wordpress.org and go to download and download the most current uh, version of WordPress. So I have it downloaded it's like a zip uh, file. When I click to open, it's like containing the WordPress files. So what I'm going to do is to copy this folder under the web servers folder. So under the application, under MAMP folder, you will find a folder called hg.docs. And this is where your server side script will sit at. So what we're going to do is to copy over the WordPress files to under this folder. So by default, it has the index.php, that's um, the first home page. So now if you go to the localhost and refresh, you'll be able to see the uh, WordPress file has the setup config.php. So this is redirected by the index.php to direct you to the setup page for WordPress. So then you click to continue, database is WordPress and so over here we have the tools for um, accessing mysql database and this tool is called php my admin so in here you will click on php my admin and then set up a new database we can just call it wordpress so once we create the wordpress um database uh, we create a new user so we can access to this database so in the new add user account and the username let's make it admin and um click go be able to access to the database wordpress because i highlight the wordpress when i create this account so now back to here I can paste the password and yeah, 
we made it through this part of the installation and now let's run the installation and we can give it a site title and click to install and then we have been installed and then we can log in and voila this is the dashboard and we can make one new post actually it's already having a um, hello world And now um, this the hello world is there by default it's the first post and this is the one that i just made and of course you can play around with the design of it and all but the purpose is done here so we've installed map and then we've installed the wordpress under it and the code are under the ht docs hosting on the apache server on our own on my local desktop that's it